All right, welcome back to The Eminence in the Shadow anime review, episode number eight. We're here reviewing episodes 16 and 17. We're kind of continuing this, the story arc here of, it's a new story arc where Rose on the run. Now, she is accused of stabbing her fiancé. And her fiancé's name is really stupid. Perv Asshat. That is seriously his name. And when I heard in the book, I'm like, really? His first name is Perv? Oh yeah, this guy is a complete jerk. He apparently has drugged her fa- his future father-in-law. When I, uh, basically Alexia's sister basically questions him, He's like, for the king, he's like even drooling too. He's like, he was very vacant. He looks like he was drugged. Like, seriously, the man is drugged. And Perv Asshat is basically controlling everything. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, the whole thing of being stabbed, that was a lie. It's shown in the flashback in, in episode 17 that Rose doesn't stab him. She sliced his arm. And how does that qualify for a stabbing? Man, Perv Asset is a complete idiot. And so gun ho I'm basically like, oh, I am such so awesome because my name is Perv. Yes. He's like, yes, Lord Ass. Oh, don't call me Asset. Call me Perv. It's like, you see this guy in the anime, you see, hear his name, I'm like, you are a guy that male viewers hate because of your name and the fact you drugged a woman's father. It's like you watch the, you watch him on the screen. Like, man, I can't wait. The shadow beats a living crap out of you or, or, or you get sliced to death, killed this guy immediately. He's basically a very hateable character. Even the book, basically he's like this too. So, yeah, they also... Here's the thing. Shadow actually sexually finds Rose. No problem. Yeah, he's like, oh. He's he's asked, he asked Epsilon, like, where, where where's Rose? Oh, she, she, she's in the sewers. Well, she's in the she, she's in the tunnels. So, he finds her. And, of course, 817 also ties in something from his past. A piano. Yes, a piano. Excuse me. Also, his sister is returning in these episodes. Yeah, first time she's been seen since, like, episode 6. Yeah, she's been absent. I think she she's not even been mentioned. Now, this is not fault of the anime. This is the fault of the of the surf material for not featuring her very much at all. And she is going to pop. She is going to speak here on the next episode. I'm going to mention Lucy to Christian, like, did you feel, did you think it was odd that a character, like, who is the sister of the main character of Emerson Shadow, where, like, you, you have lines in, like, three three or four episodes in season one alone. Yeah. But we're getting very, very close around the season. Though, where we have three more to go. So, <clears throat> yeah, Rose is in the tunnels. And she eventually finds Shadow. Shadow gives her power to basically just become more powerful. Takes out assassins from the Code Diablos. Runs Alexia and Beta. Though she has no one's actually Beta. But basically under her guise of being a writer. And, well, Alexia Bowser and Rose beats her, but she's like, oh, you got stronger. And then, of course, Beta tells like, I'm not going to stop you, but we are going to see you in the future. And she goes off. As for Clyde, he, well, he doesn't do a lot these two episodes, per se. He does very little. I mean, in the case of, like, 16, he doesn't put on his, his outfit at all until, like, briefly a scene in episode 17. It's more focused on the girls. Which, I don't have an issue with that. Oh, by the way, 16. That kind of wraps up that little thing with the mundane man stuff. Yeah, that is, like, easily wrapped up. Like, like he beats the guy really quickly. Uh, Amon Rose, basically, is very weary of him. And there's just not really a lot to say about 16 all that much when it comes to the tournament yeah it's like basically like that's been a hold because the whole thing with the because of the whole thing with with rose well the main character rose by the way i did look it up uh this character is not peregrine after this arc but 
the the dragon the the guy who was like so like oh because anybody stronger than him basically he just wins easily matches he claims in the feed he just easily forfeits yeah he does return after this briefly and he does return well i read he he is going to return in season three but ama rose nope she has not returned after this not at all if you're curious why in the world that is i don't know Yeah, but I did kind of enjoy these episodes, <clears throat> but we're getting really, really close to rep season one. So what I'm going to do for the last three episodes of this season, I am going to basically just watch all three because basically we're just getting close to the very end here because it'd be kind of weird to do two episodes and then a standalone episode. I'm going to do three um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do three, unless, of course, I get text messages. Oh, you're gonna, I was thinking if you can work tomorrow. Okay, yeah, so, that's it for the of you. Next up is a comment corner. Also, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? With notifications turned on. And also, please do not hit that dislike button, okay? Next, see you. Bye.